snap over his shoulder. Seven in this front has taken the mark. Well, that shoulder we can see once again pretty heavily strapped. It's uh, popped out a little bit. So Paul Salmon, first score of the day, shouldn't have any trouble converting. And he doesn't. The Bombers by a goal. And so far, Geelong will have to tighten up in the middle. McGrath, short kick. Mark taken by Salmon. Instead of uh, clearing it, though, he's kicked it straight to his man. Well, Salmon's a real chance to score from here, about 45 metres. What a magnificent kick by Salmon. It's a goal. Two goals already to the big full forward for Essendon. And straight into Barnes. And by Peter Cameron not bothering to apply 50 metres. For one minute, I think there was one there. Salmon again. Well, this is my point, Peter. I don't think there is anybody in the Geelong combination. Yes, he's going to... Whoever is there will need support from the fringe players coming around and blocking the hole for Salmon. He's just filling space at the present time. 40 metres out directly in front. Salmon's kicked his third. Dream start to Essendon. Ten and a half back, I should say, as we saw him uh, clearing that one. Oh. Ablett in a pack of three players and much to the delight. Incredible power. And he'll kick the distance quite easily. And he kicks it straight. Essendon are finding space. No free kick in that. No, not at all. Ablett shoots from about 50 metres. Lovely kick by Ablett. Pretty heavily strapped. McGrath, good long kick into attack. Ablett and Danaher! Great mark by the great man. Ablett directly in front, 45 metres out. Doesn't usually miss these. Hasn't missed that one. Braving it well was the Brownlow medalist, Paul Couch. Funny looking kick. The end result might be OK. Adler slung off the ball. Snapshot. He's got his fourth. Clearly, I think the umpire came in by the actions of Gary Ablett falling to the ground. Pretty tight angle for the big fella. He runs around and puts it through for a goal. 5-3 he's kicked to the ground by himself, which means it must be a loose Essendon player. Kick towards Sam and he's got it. Again, on. 406 career goals. That's his fourth today. Gatherers by Buick. Buick's kick to full forward. Bounce! For Salmon, and he gets the goal. Well, a little fortunate there for his pickering. Gets the ball away from the centre. And Ablett. Well, you could have put anyone on Ablett then and it wouldn't have made any difference because the ball came down so quickly. Too obvious, so I'd better do it. Gary Ablett for goal number six. And he doesn't miss it straight through the centre. Six goals, three. Wenganine, who's been a little quiet, he's kicking towards centre-half forward. Salmon. Too tall with maybe only a goal separating the teams and the two key forwards, each with six goals. Salmon going for his sixth. Salmon has got his sixth. Oh, that's the most blatantly wrong decision I've seen this year. Speaker Ian Robertson. Too many of the MCG would disagree, Robbo, but it's a goal in front of him. He uh, did tap it with his fist so it was played as a, as a handball and an infringement. Vice like hands. Bit of an angle. Shouldn't bother him and doesn't. He's kicked out goal seven. And interchanging with Bairstow. Ablett has now kicked nine goals. Well, there's not much in it. There's, uh, there's been a lot of soft free kicks all day. But Salmon has a chance to kick his seventh goal. And it's going to be pretty close. It's through for a goal. Hills or Hurd, Adlett. Step, <laughs> number 10. It's Joe Masiti. Masiti up towards Salmon, who marks directly in front. 
This is a treat. Seven at one end, Adlett at the other. Let's see how he kicks at goal. He's kicked seven. Seven four to be precise. He's kicked eight four now. Left half forward. Short pass from him. Adlett on a lead. And Herb has got the job of minding him now. Angle's pretty acute. He's nearly on the boundary line. Kick number 19 for the champ. Distance is there. Accuracy looks pretty good. It's another one. 11. Grenvold's kicking towards full forward, looking for Salmon. Yes, he does good. well. Does very well. Does extremely well. Magnificent stuff by Salmon. Came back on, or has come back on. Scott, long kick, Adler. Good use of the body, great mark. Strong, this fellow. No infringement. Hinkley off and Malakalis on for Geelong. Adler for his 12th. The Cats need one. And he's kicked one. Gee. Well, one gets the feeling perhaps the umpires are trying to square it up for the Ablets down the other end. It's about the most sensible comment of the lot, I think. Salmon's kicked a goal. He's kicked 10. And he might even be coming off the ground. And off the left foot. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> two good marks there. And Paul Salmon just hobbling off the ground for Essendon. Well, this shot will put Geelong in front if he kicks accurately. And 13 goals to Ablett. Geelong lead. Kevin Sheedy won't like the result if he slams this through. This will equal his 14 against Richmond. Which he's done. Essendon will get the ball clear. Back towards the centre. There's the siren. The Bombers have won a classic football match. And there's Kevin Sheedy. A very happy man. But Essendon have won by four goals, 23-18 to 19-18.